Okay, I'm going to be going over part one prototype example question three from the 2016 version, though I think it was released in 2015, uh, for the pre-reg exam prototype. Uh, and I'm just going to do the solution. Um, I just wanted to see what it was like uh, in Britain uh, versus the U.S. in terms of um, how they assess uh, who's qualified and who's not qualified. Uh, but I just figured I'd make a video while I was looking at the sheet. Uh, I took number three because uh, number three uh, is so similar to uh, maybe five or six on that part one. Uh, and I'm just going to go over it uh, like I would have solved the problem. Uh, so the first thing, I, I don't know if I would have read the whole question uh, if I have uh, just numbers uh, at the end uh, and I know that um, I'm given the number of bottles, I'll put on my laser pointer here, and I'm given the number of bottles that I'm supposed to have. Well, if I have bottles, then I know I have to have some kind of conversion that gets me bottles over here, and there's only one conversion, 100 mLs is one bottle. So I'd put that there. And so now I have the bottles, but I have mLs and I need to get rid of those. I only see 250 milligrams per 5 mLs, and I can put this upside down. 5 mLs over 250 is the same as 250 over 5. So I put 5 mLs over 250 milligrams to get rid of mLs, but now I have milligrams. Is there anything to get rid of the milligrams with? And I see 500 milligrams here, and this sometimes gives students trouble four times a day for 10 days. If you think of it as 500 milligrams per dose, four doses a day for 10 days, that might be a little bit easier when it comes to conversions. So I put 500 milligrams, which is in one dose, and now I have the milligrams are gone, but now I have the doses. So 500 milligrams in one dose, how many doses per day? Four doses per day and then I run into trouble because there are three 10 days, seven days, and five days um, parts where I would need to know, okay, well, which of those is right? So now I might read the question slowly and carefully through uh, to better understand after I'd set it up. Uh, and I would never do the math ahead of time. I always set everything up first before I even attempt the math. Uh, so the question reads, number three, you receive a prescription for a 76-year-old patient for phenoxymethyl penicillin, 250 milligrams per 5 mLs oral solution, 500 milligrams four times a day for 10 days. You inform the patient that due to the medication's short life of seven days, once it is prepared, you will fulfill part of the prescription and supply the remainder at a later date. The patient agrees to take enough for five days today and will call back for the remainder. What is the correct number of 100 ml prepared bottles that you would be supplying today? And what you would put maybe in your own header to write down would be versus total. So what I would do is I would actually calculate both of them uh, to make sure that you didn't get stuck in that trap because that's what it is. It's um, asking you which of those should you put here? Is it the five, the seven, or the 10 to get rid of this day? And the correct number of bottles you'll be supplying today would be five days. And if we do our multiplication, and I personally would get rid of the 500 and 250 by putting a two here and a one here. So I could do it in my head. Five times four times two times five makes 200. So 40 times two makes 80. 80 times five makes, no, 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40, 40 times 5 is 200. And then here, I would have the 1 there, so it would just be 100. So 200 over 100 makes 2. But then I would also calculate versus total. Now, if you're in the test, you don't have to do this, obviously. It's extra time that you need. But to check my work, I would say, okay, but what would the total have been so that I know that I have enough on shelf uh, or on the shelf to fill the order when it's when the patient comes back in five days. And the total would be for 10 days. So I could do the calculation again, 10 times four, 40, 40 times two, 80, 80 times five, 400 over 100 makes four bottles. Or I could just say, oh, if it's five days and I double that to 10, then two bottles doubles to four bottles. Either way, uh, you get the answer. 
Um, but that's how I think I would solve that one. And I think a mistake many students make when they start doing calculations is they think it's like the math they've done all their lives, which is what's three plus three plus four? Well, you take three and then add three and then four. So you get you know, six plus four is 10 and they're adding from left to right. With these calculations, you want to go from right to left. Uh, it makes it so much easier because they've already given you this gift of the units for the answer. So if you have the units for the answer, the only choice has to match in some way the units for the answer. And then that takes you backwards until you get the whole equation built from left to right, in which you would finally uh, do the calculation.